So check it out. I went from Colorado that had five bar dirt to here in California that has five bar dirt. Four mostly, but it does go up to five at times. There it is. Oh boy. What is up everybody? The Hunter GT with thehuntergt.com. That's right. Go check out the website. And what do we have going on? Here is part two of the Fisher F75 Plus review. We are going to be doing performance testing here. We have four dimes out at coil width apart. If they're too close, that is a separation test. This is recovery speed. So coil width apart, four dimes right there. We are out here in the backyard. I am running discrimination mode, sensitivity 60, disc level 65. That way we don't get anything. There might be a little bit of something there under the ground. Notch one, number of tones 1F, process DE. So let's listen to some recovery speed results. One, two, three, four. As we can see, lightning fast, lightning fast. Let's go to fast audio and take a listen. Super, super fast, just bonkers fast. So that was default. Um, one thing, bottle cap, jewelry, they're, they're all really fast, like default. With boost process, you do need to swing the coil a little slow. It says it in the manual um, that you do need to swing a little slower. So about right there, it's starting to trick anything faster than that, which is still faster than my normal swing. A little bit faster than my normal swing. So you can swing I would say a nice normal speed with boost process. And then if you like to swing just silly fast, you can do that with default jewelry mode. Very fast, very fast. So let's listen to some tones. Uh, we'll go to DE tones. So that this is one, this is monotone here. And then the one F is the VCO modulated audio. The closer we get, sounds like that. We move higher. So there we go. That's one F, very, very fast. Uh, let's go to two, that will be the, or three. That'll be the next thing a coin hunter most likely listens to. Super stupid fast, stupid fast. And then DP, delta pitch, 99 tones. You can see all four of those sound the same on the scale, um, all being dimes, of course. So there it is, guys. Recovery speed of this, quite fast. One little correction I did want to make, um, the quarter inch plug here, it absolutely does change the headphone volume. I made a mistake last video. Uh, somebody corrected me in the comments and I, I thank them for doing that. I want to say it was Mark uh, H, so thank you for that. And it does on my T2 as well. It was a headphone issue for some reason. I didn't think that it, control the volume. I just misspoke on the last one. So it is what it is. I'm not right all the time. I absolutely admit that. So thank you for the correction, Mark. Definitely appreciate that. Headphone, the knob here, the on off knob, it will absolutely control the headphone volume here as well. Another mistake I made in the last video, Graham from Unearthed UK, he only ships to the UK. So I said, hey, anybody over in Europe, check out his his uh, website, Unearthed UK, it's for the UK only. Uh, probably why he put Unearthed UK on the back, right, Hunter? Duh, duh. So there you go. Somebody corrected me on that. Hey, man, I'm not so sure he ships to like Switzerland and France and all that. But there it is. If you are in the UK watching my videos, he's definitely my guy. All the same, Unearthed UK, Graham Rushton. If you are here in the United States and need something that I can't get you, Craig at showmetreasure.com and showmetreasure at gmail.com. 
uh, com. I guess it's gmail.com. Uh, there we go. So Craig and Graham, two great guys. You should definitely go check out their YouTube channels as well and hit that subscribe button. So there it is. Recovery speed. I'm not going to be doing Monty's nail board test this video. Um, go ahead and moan and groan right now. I have a five inch coil for this as well that I want to test out for some nail testing and some different scenarios. And I'm going to be doing a lot more of those little test type videos with nails in certain positions, Monty's nail test, um, maybe a 3D test where the nails are above the coins and, or some pull tabs above the coins at different angles, you know, maybe we'll make star pad. All right, here we go. I have it full blast right now, 99. It's on three tones. Um, default speed so we're gonna run through a nail a couple different rings here and some coins so start with large to small let's let's listen to the iron audio of the nail and look way past a foot well past a foot you can hear it okay let's try the quarter now hear that high tone We're at 11. You know, we're getting hits at 12, but at 11, we can repeat it. So, excuse my shoddy camera work right now. Let's try a nickel. Getting hits out to 13. Repeatable at 12, so with that mid-tone. Here's a zinc. Repeatable hits at 11 and it stops. Getting a little too close with the camera there. Repeatable hits about 11. You can hear it's a little chatty. Definitely, I got it maxed out. We're indoors. This is with DST off, so it's as far as it goes, basically. Copper. Same thing. Repeatable hits out to about 11 inches. Stops at about a foot. And the clad, clad dime. Good at 10. Starting to get some mid-tones at 10, actually. Very repeatable at 9. And at 10, we're starting to get mid-tones, so we'll say 10 inches there. So, there it is. Let's try this big honking gold ring. So that nice, strong mid-tone. This is that Raiders gold ring, pretty big sucker. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, about fourteen inches out, and it's starting to break up. So, pretty good on the gold range, pretty good. Let's try this thin, thin silver ring here, super thin one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eh, eleven, ten. Let's say ten. We're getting repeatable hits at ten. Sorry. Then at eleven, it's starting to break into some mid tones there. You can definitely still hear it. So there you go. With those targets right there, the nail past a foot, past a foot, everything else right up to a foot, and then it cuts off. You can hear it is definitely chatty. Definitely chatty. DST is off. This is basically what you're going to get. And so there it is. On to the next little bit. Okay, DST is now on. As you can tell, much less chatty. So 99 cents still. Three tone. As we can see, the nail is well past the foot. Let's go with the quarter. Out to 11. We're getting whispers at 12 still. Nickel. A 
11, that's 12, sorry. So we're still getting hits out to 13 and whispers out to 14. So zinc penny. Mid tones still out to 11 inches repeatable, copper. Nine, 10, and we're breaking off at 11. Clad dime here, clad dime. And we are out to 10 inches or so. Silver ring. Nine, 10, 11, and let's say 11 is about the max. The big gold ring. And again, we are well past a foot. 13, 14, almost 15 inches. So DST on, DST off. Big difference in chatter, as you can hear, not a big difference in the air test quality. So there it is. I'm pretty impressed, pretty darn impressed. All right, on to the next. All right, now boost process mode. All right, let's check the quarter. You can hear it is a little bit more chattery. Quarter. Look at that, we're getting nice good hits at 12. 13, we're still getting re repeats. 12, no problem. So as you can see, it does extend the range out on the solid ID by a good inch, inch and a half. Pretty impressive. So nickel. Solid as a rock at 12 inches on a nickel. 13, 14, more like out to 15, 16, and still getting a good hit. Pretty good, pretty darn good. I am impressed. So here is the zinc. We're out to a foot and still getting it. 13, starting to get some high tones. And at 14 or so, it's starting to disappear. So, copper penny. Look, out to a foot with the copper. So definitely gained a good inch, inch and a half. That copper was not hitting like this outside of boost. All right, almost 13, 14, we can still hear it. Clad dime. That's at 12, it starts to break up. So definitely added an inch, definitely. Silver ring, this thin silver. We'll save the gold for last. And just about out to 13 or so, 12 repeatable, no problem. Gold ring, no problem. 12 inches, loud as can be. 13, 14, that's 14 there, easy. 15, that's a good 16 before it starts to break up way out there. So, there it is guys, Fisher F75 boost mode, pretty darn impressive. Let's run out all metal real quick and uh, call it a video. All right, last but not least, quickly an all metal test. Here's the nail. Well past a foot, here is a quarter, clad quarter, oh, dropped it. We're getting whispers out to about 14 or so. Nickel. Nine, 
We are out to 14 there. So I'm still getting that out to about 14, 15 zinc penny. Well past a foot as well, copper penny. Well past a foot as well, dime. Well past a foot as well, silver, silver ring here, real thin silver ring. Well past a foot, and here comes the big honking ring. Boy, listen to that. Listen to that. <laughs> We're out at like 16, 17 here. Look how far out I am. So pretty good. 16 inches, 17 inches there on a gold ring. Everything else well past the foot, so all metal does reach out a couple extra inches. Boost definitely gives us a couple extra inches, and default on just about everything was 10, 12 inches, basically on everything, um, except for the nail and the, and the gold ring really likes those way out. So definitely a low and mid conductor lover. Uh, you jewelry hunters going to really love it. This as a coin shooter is phenomenal as well. I mean, we're getting coins out to basically 10, 12 inches. You can't really ask for much more than that. Um, pretty good stuff with boost on, definitely out to the 12 inch marker. So yeah, digging a foot on your coins in very good soil. Here in my soil where five bar dirt, I'm looking about, oh, eight, nine inches probably with this machine. Um, like I said, not everywhere is four or five bars. Some of the parks are a little bit lower. Uh, the beach here in California, a lot of it is like one bar. It's very non-mineralized. I can really punch down if I stay in the dry sand to medium wet sand. Um, and then of course being a single frequency VLF, not the greatest in salt water, but it still will work with sensitivity down low. Like I show with the Patriot, which is based on the F70, this F75 will definitely do that as well. So here it is, guys, the pinnacle of Fisher, the F75 Plus. There it is. Just lay it out, take a look at it right there, turn it off, get rid of all that chatter. So there it is, the F75 Plus sticker on it. Pistol grip, 13 kilohertz, $649. You know what to do. Go pick it up, get that F-Pulse, get that digger hand tool to go with it. Fisher F75 Plus, hope you enjoy the video. I will be shooting some nail board tests, all that good stuff coming up with two coils on it. Lots more videos with this bad boy. Probably going to become my main machine. It may replace the T2 and the Patriot. So we will see. Actually, this is the Huntresses, but I'm thinking about picking up one for myself. Actually, these are very nice. I really do like it. I really, really like it. So there it is, guys. The Hunter GT signing off. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you on the next video.